Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to season two of my WWE 2K Jam mode in All Elite Wrestling. That is right, we are finally back here in AEW, back on AEW Dynamite. Tony Khan has seen the error of his ways after firing me after season one and realized that, you know, after seeing me go to the big time over there on Monday Night Raw, he's kind of like, oh, I, I kind of miss my ex now. And so here I am, we're back together, bitch. And so for the first time on this channel, for the first time ever in history, I will not only be the general manager of AEW, but I'll also be the general manager of Monday Night Raw simultaneously the first time in history. And so for those of you that may prefer the Monday Night Raw GM mode, don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Both of these series will be running together at the same time. But now, given the fact that this is season two, we are not going to be getting any extra stimuluses at the start of the season like we did at the beginning of season one because, you know, I'm not a new general manager anymore. We're getting back to where we were. So the budget is still at six dollars $9,000 as it was at the end of season for one. For as much as I would love Tony Khan to be like, hey, here's an extra two hundred grand, you know, to, uh, to spend at the start of the season, we're not going to do that. There's, there's no stimulus. And so that is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe I should go ahead and ask Joe Biden where my stimulus is. Am I right? I mean, hey, Joey B, where is my stimmy? You know, I'm basically an American citizen now. I got my visa. I'm here running one of your greatest shows in the entire country. Give me 2000 You know what? No. I don't want $2,000 off Joe Biden. That's not going to buy me anyone on this entire roster. I need more money than that. And also, by the way, speaking of the views and ratings goals, they're going to be the exact same as they were last season because if it ain't broke, why fix it? Also, something I should add is that season two of the AW Gem mode will once again be 15 episodes because I think I I prefer that formula. I like how I paced it in season one. And so it'll be a 15 episode season again. We'll be going all the way from All Out in August where we left off in season one to Blood and Guts, which has now been moved to October because I think it's a better spot for that paper. And so Blood and Guts is in October and we'll be rounding off with full gear in November. And that'll be the season finale of season two and maybe even a little bit of a cruise in between the season, but you have to wait and see. And if there's anyone out there where this is your first time seeing an AW Gem mode episode, then you won't have seen the season two trailer. And so let's go ahead and rewind back because there was a very important blockbuster announcement. I I made in that trailer. So well, uh, let's let's go back. I put the pillow was new beginnings with all the trimmings. Submission machines, you know what that means. This is exactly what it seems. And this time around, we're not alone. Because we are back. Yes, yes, yes. This season in the AW Gem mode, we are not alone in this universe anymore. It's no longer just AEW and a bunch of free agents that we could potentially sign because we are partnering up with a bunch of other promotions in the world of professional wrestling that are not WWE because, you know, I don't really possess the kind of pulling power yet. I'm not really kind of high enough status to be like, yo, Vince. Hey, what's up, bro? You think I could maybe get a Matt Riddle or Randy Orton to come to AEW? Oh, no. Okay, thanks. You blocked me? Cool. You know how it is in the professional wrestling world. We never say never. And so maybe in a future season, we'll partner up with the WWE and do some type of crossover insane thing in like maybe a final season of the GM mode but I don't know right now it's just a bunch of other indie promotions but there's a great bunch of promotions in there you got Progress Wrestling in the UK you got Stardom in Japan NJPW is here you got Impact Wrestling ROH PWG anyone that is in those promotions that you think oh yeah this person in this promotion will be eligible to be signed in this season although with that being said I'm not going to put every wrestler from those promotions on the screen because that would just take way too long but I'll show some of the bigger names you can see here like Okada and Naito, infamous free agents like Buddy Murphy, Tommy End, uh, Cassie Lee, Jessica McKay, and uh, you know, keep this between you and me, keep it on the download, but you may even see some of our AEW wrestlers popping up on other people's shows, so uh, I'll leave it there. Just to clarify for anyone that may be new around here and doesn't quite understand the free agent rule, if someone is a well enough known free agent, then they can be signed and will appear on the Bible roster, and if any future releases happen in the wrestling world, then they are eligible. So don't ask me, is this person available? Is this person possible to show up? If they are released, then they can be bought so keep an eye out. There's even a few in this episode. Just a couple more things here. When it comes to free agents, you may notice that Samoa Joe is going to play a very big part in season two. And I just want to clarify for all the people in the comments that are going to be like, he's in NXT, he's in WWE. What are you doing? Da, 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 da. Listen, okay. I found a little bit of a loophole when it came to that free agent rule. And here's what happened. So you guys remember a couple weeks ago, or like maybe over a month ago now, when Samoa Joe was released from WWE initially, that was when I was coming to the end of season one of the AW Gym mode. And so I was kind of like, oh yeah, he's eligible to be in this series now. He's a free agent. And so I went ahead and had had him debut at All Out, as you may remember, to choke out Hangman Adam Page after he won the TNT Championship. And I signed him to AEW while he was still a free agent. It's not my fault that he went back to NXT. He went back to NXT after I had already signed him. And so he's he's still here. I'm not getting rid of him. You snooze, you lose, WWE. You lost him, and I picked him up in the time where he was still a free agent. So, loophole, suck and it. And so now, finally, you're probably wondering if you've gone ahead and clicked on this episode and you watched the Season 1 finale, what the hell happened? You left us on a massive cliffhanger at the end of last season when you cut to black 
back when Sting just showed up at All Out. What happened in the Triple Threat main event for the AW World Championship? Is Kenny Omega still the champion? What happened with Sting? Is Darby Allin the champion? Is John Moxley the champion? And so let's go ahead and take you back to the closing moments of the All Out pay-per-view. Oh my god, it's Sting! The Stinger is in AW! The Stinger is all elite! Oh my goodness me, he's got him hooked! Scorpion! Death drop! What the hell is going on here? Sting is dragging Darby Allen into the cover! One, two, three! He did it! Darby Allen is your new AW World Champ! And so there you bloody go. There is the ending to the All Out pay-per-view. Sting has showed up to screw Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club and make Darby Allen the AEW World Champion. The question is, what happens next? What happens in the aftermath? And so uh, we're not going to wait anymore. Without any more further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Season 2, Episode 1, the premiere of the AEW GM mode. Once again, I present to you another episode of my AEW Dynamite. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome back to AEW Dynamite, where we are kicking off the show after All Out with the brand new TNT Champion, Hangman Adam Page. And for the Cowboy, it really was almost the perfect All Out pay-per-view until, of course, the arrival of Samoa Joe, where Samoa Joe would debut and choke out Hangman Adam Page. And you've got to imagine, given the fire, given the Cowboy that Hangman Adam Page is, he's going to respond to what Joe did at the All Out pay-per-view after the ladder match. So this past weekend should have been the best of my life. I should have been cracking beers with the boys and celebrating the fact that I just won the TNT Championship. But here's the thing, I couldn't. I just couldn't because of what happened after I outlasted seven other men in that ladder match. I mean, maybe my eyes deceived me. Maybe I had one too many pre-match beers because Samoa Joe decided to show up and lay me out in the middle of my celebration. And I just want to know why. I want answers. Goodness me, Hangman Adam Page, you wanted answers. Here you go. Here comes Samoa Joe. You want answers, Hangman? You want answers? Yeah, I want some fucking answers. Fine, you'll get some motherfucking answers boy but don't say I didn't warn you that this ain't gonna be pretty the reason I targeted you was because you stand for everything I despise in this business you a joke parading around drinking beers and cracking jokes not taking this seriously and then you have the nerve to call yourself a champion you have the nerve to compete in this ring someone had to give you a reality check me a reality check you want to give me a reality check I'll give you one too, Joe. The only reason you're here is to mask your own insecurities about how you couldn't hack it over there. You're only here not because you have a problem with me or what I stand for, but because you hate what you've become. Let's face it, Joe, you used to be a killer, a Samoan submission machine, and now you have become the joke. No one is afraid of you anymore. I know I'm not. Oh, I'll give you a reason to be afraid of me when I snatch that title from over your shoulder after putting your ass to sleep, cowboy. Be careful. What you wish for. Well, you seem oh so keen on taking my championship, and so why wait? How about right here tonight in the main event? I just told you to be careful what you wish for, cowboy, and it's clear to me you have a death wish. I'll see your ass later tonight. That's just perfect, buddy. I just hope for your sake, Joe, you're the one choking me out and not choking another opportunity in your career.
Well, goodness gracious me, what a heated confrontation that was between Hangman Adam Page and Samoa Joe. And more on that in a moment, more on our main event in a moment. But right now, we have an announcement to kick things off here in AEW Dynamite, ladies and gentlemen. Because next week here live, Cody Rhodes will be here on AEW Dynamite to call out the newest signee, JY, after what happened at the All Out Pay-Per-View after the conclusion of the AEW Combine. And additionally, next week on AEW Dynamite, we will also see the reign of dominance officially begin when AEW Women's Champion Awesome Kong returns to Dynamite to begin her AEW Women's Championship reign. And you are not going to have to wait a whole week to see the women's division because here tonight on Dynamite, Jade Cargill will be making her debut against Thunder Rosa. And don't you dare think I was going to stop there with the announcements because as you saw moments ago, I am about to make it official in tonight's main event after that heated confrontation in our main event. The Samoan submission machine Samoa Joe makes his AEW in-ring debut against Hangman Adam Page for the TNT Championship. What a main event that is about to be. What are you looking at? I think I'm looking at the same sorry son of a bitch I've put to sleep countless times in the past. Different company, same old story. Is that right? Well, see, Joe, this is a different company, all right, but it's also a different version of me that you ain't faced before. I'm more malicious, more dangerous, more violent than ever before, so you better watch your mouth. Here's the thing, Moxley. You had to change yourself to become all those things, whereas I was born malicious, dangerous, and violent. So maybe you watch your mouth before I once again make you a stay-at-home husband living off your wife's Hey, chat. And well, now the show must continue, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our first bit of action in season two. As Orbe was rings the bell, Jade Cargill against Thunder Rosa in the women's division. This is going to be very interesting. Big ends of Gurry by the one making her debut here tonight on AEW. Jade Cargill. And from everything that I've seen, from everything that I've scouted of Jade Cargill before she signed here to All Elite Wrestling, before she made her AEW Dynamite debut, she's going to be one of the most impressive women that we have ever seen here in All Elite Wrestling. But take nothing away from Thunder Rosa, she is also just as impressive. Of course, currently one and oh here in AEW. Because of course, don't forget that Thunder Rosa, nice unique maneuver right there, but Thunder Rosa made her debut a couple weeks ago by interrupting the waiting room uh, of Britt Baker and then challenging Britt Baker to a bit of a who is the best women's wrestler to, uh, type of matchup at All Out. Thunder Rosa would go ahead and pick up the win in her AEW Dynamite debut and I was looking to continue that momentum here tonight on uh, Dynamite. Right. Hang on a second, Jade Cargill has Thunder Rosa at the top rope here and the Hurricane Lana, very impressive by Jade Cargill right there. Now Cargill going to the cover right there Aubrey Woods is down for the count. Is this about to be it? No. A kick out at two and a half, but very close there. Almost pinning a very decorated former champion in Thunder Rosa. La Rosa Rosa. Well, hang on a second. Thunder Rosa definitely has the experience factor over Jade Cargill. Looking to teach the rookie a thing or two about what it takes to be a star in this professional wrestling thing. But no, Jade Cargill using her size, using her frame to her advantage. And now Cargill, oh, slamming her head straight into the mat right there. Nothing pretty, but it's effective right there. Also, by the way, as this women's match continues, can we talk about the fact that Samoa Joe and Moxley just had a showdown backstage and now hang on a second Thunder Rosa was looking for a finish right there she was looking to put Jade Cargill away but Jade Cargill using her strength and her size to her, her advantage as I'm sure Samoa Joe is going to try and do to in tonight's main event for the TNT Championship against Hangman Adam Page and it's very like Samoa Joe to have literally just arrived here in Dynamite and already making an, an enemy out of Hangman Adam Page and of course somebody we has had a run in with the, in the past uh, in John Moxley oh and hang on a second look at this unique from uh, Thunder Rosa using the ropes to her leverage right there. The crowd may not love it, but hey, Thunder Rosa is here for one thing. She's here to win championships and cash checks, and that is Thunder Rosa to a T, and she's going to do it by any means necessary, but Jake can't go with the sidewalk slam. I'm sure somewhere here tonight in AEW Dynamite, you've got to imagine that awesome Kong is watching on us. There's a float of a DDT by Jade Cargill spiking Thunder Rosa into the mat, and if awesome Kong, the AEW Women's Champion, is watching on, take a look at what could be heading your way someday soon. Jade Cargill with a float of a DDT spike and Thunder Rosa going to the cover and Jade Cargill has scored a huge upset in her debut. What a match that was. That is the type of match that I would love to see get run back someday here on Dynamite. That was absolute perfection in the women's division. Two newcomers, relative newcomers in this AW women's division but two women who are very, very welcomed by me and the entire uh, fandom of AEW because that was fantastic. In the end, that move right there, the float over DDT is what signaled the end for Thunder Thunder Rosa here tonight. Her record goes to one on one, and of course Jade Cargill starting off hot as her record is now one and zero here in AEW. Congratulations to Jade Cargill. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to be joined by the new AEW World Champion, the Daredevil, Darby Allen. I 
still can't believe this is reality. I can't believe I'm about to say this. And honestly, it's still singing in a little bit. But I am your new AEW World Champion. Well, that couldn't have been possible without someone that helps me even the odds against Omega and the Bullet Club. And he is not just a man, but he is the icon, Sting. You hear the crow call, you see the winds of winter, you know the name. The Stinger is here to change the game. And by God did he change the game at the All Out pay-per-view, signaling the end of the reign of Kenny Omega after that Scorpion death drop, helping Darby Allen win the championship. Well, thank you for the warm reception, Darby, but honestly, the pleasure was all mine. See, I had no choice but to make my presence known because for months, I have been sick and tired of the Bullet Club running roughshod over this company. It was about time someone restored balance, and I think I did that at all out. I think you did exactly what you set out to do, but if anything, I don't want there to be an asterisk next to my first big championship win. If anything, I feel like I should give you a championship match to prove myself once and for all. So what do you say? Hmm, it does sound pretty intriguing, the icon versus the daredevil for the AEW world title I think I accept oh hang on just a minute hold that thought about a potential Sting versus Darby Allen match because here comes the former AEW world champion Kenny Omega whoa 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 hang on a minute we're not doing this. I was robbed of that championship this past weekend and no one else is getting a championship match until I get mine. Hey, would you relax? I've got no problem giving you your title rematch as well, Omega. How about next week? Oh, you're on, Darby. Enjoy your one week as champion because that's all you're going to get. You're not going to stop us. That 50-year-old shriveled up icon isn't going to stop us because I'll settle that beef when I'm champion again. No one is going to stop our destiny. That title is coming home to the Bullet Club. You got seven days, Darby. Seven days. And now it is time for our main event here on AEW Dynamite, the season two premiere, where Samoa Joe, the Samoan submission machine, gets his TNT Championship match against Hangman Adam Page. This one is gonna be good. Samoa Joe quite literally has only been here in AEW Dynamite for one night and one night only and he's already made an enemy out of John Moxley once again and of course Hangman Adam Page but Samoa Joe is one of those guys that you know he just don't give a damn about making friends he's here for checks championships and to end careers the question is how will he fare against Hangman Adam Page here tonight a man he has never faced in his career and a man by the way can we talk about how Hangman Adam Page the balls are still said that he's not even intimidated nor scared of Samoa Joe. I mean, hey, fair enough, say what you want to, uh, about Samoa Joe's stock right now, but he is still Samoa Joe. He is still a killer, in my opinion, and so Hang Around the Page better watch himself. But with that being said, he just outlasted some of the men in a ladder match, so you know he's battle-tested, he is war-hardened, he is ready to uh, fight in this TNT Championship match. He is ready to go to war once again against Samoa Joe. And as Hangman Adam Page makes his entrance here tonight on AEW Dynamite, we want to remind you that this episode of AEW Dynamite is sponsored by the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications to never miss an episode of the AEW GMO. Thank you very much for listening. Of course, on one side of the ring from Huntington Beach, California, an absolute monster, the Samoan submission machine making his AEW in-ring debut here tonight, Samoa Joe. And of course, on the other side of the ring, the TNT champion, the cowboy, Hangman, Adam Page. As Aubrey holds up the TNT championship, that is what this one is all about. Samoa Joe against Hangman Adam Page, first time ever in the main event of Dynamite. Here we go. Joe wasting no time straight off the bar right here. Exactly 
including his pure dominance with a power bomb to Hangman at a pace. And this one is not going to be pretty if this continues. But no, Hangman with a counter right there, using his frame, using his strength to his advantage. Big kick to the bat, and there's a forearm. And Hangman at a pace, oh, caught with a strike there by Samoa Joe. And now, what is Joe thinking? What is Joe going for right here? But no, it's counted again by Hangman at a pace with a strike. The elbow straight to the face and the heel kick as well, just for good measure. Now, the Irish whip into the corner right here as Hangman at a pace begins to go to work with Samoa Joe. But Joe is not going to have any of it. Big STO right there. And no, he caught the big, the big knee, the big leg of Samoa Joe with the dragon screw. The hangman at the page, he can ill afford to let Joe do his thing. He can ill afford to let Joe dominate because of, as soon as you give Joe a little modicum of space, it is where he is going to capitalize. With that being said, hangman at the page is incredible as well. There's the big double knees to Joe. Oh, he went for something big right there. I think he went for a cutter, went for the clothesline. Joe got out of the way. And now, hang on a second. What is Joe going to go for? No, it's counted again by hangman at the page. Back and forth we go. Big German super. Suplex by the Cowboy, who is feeling himself the TNT Champion. Now the TNT Champion running in with a big forearm. Perhaps this is where Hangman and Page use his bit of space to go to work on Samoa Joe and use this to his advantage to retain his TNT Championship, which he just won uh, about four, four or five days ago at the All Out Pay View in the ladder match. And that was a really hard hitting ladder match, by the way. Let's not forget about it as the Hangman and Page dropped Toho to Joe. But let's not forget about how hard hitting that ladder match was. I mean, all these men were flying all over the ring goes through ladders he had like Chris Jericho, Christy and Brian Cage, Lance Archer in there, MJF and so after that ladder match you've got to imagine that he'll be at least a little bit ready for this war that he is in golden right now with Samoa Joe as he slams Joe into the mat. Hey I bring it up one more time because you look at the field of that ladder match that's all people that want the TNT championship you don't think that after losing one ladder match they're gonna just stop coming do you? If Hangman and Page goes ahead and outlasts Samoa Joe he's gonna have seven other very pissed off men on his tail looking for his championship. The fight never ends as champion as Samoa Joe scores a near fall right there, but so close, no cigar. Now Samoa Joe here using his power to his advantage with the fall away alley-oop powerbomb, sending Hangman Adam Page to the outside of the ring. And now look at this, these two men going back and forth with these strikes on the outside, although Samoa Joe, the much uh, more precision striker when it comes to it, but Hangman Adam Page, he's crafty, and he's uh, just proving it right there by floating over on Joe, but no, Joe using his strength, you're gonna have to do more than that. Another counter moves around him, the hits of the owner's side of the knee, back and forth we go between these men. Now Samoa Joe just driving Hangman Adam Page's head into the apron right there. Nothing pretty, but that's effective and the backhand slap, but it's countered by Hangman Adam Page, the Wu Chop. Referee's on a count of six, by the way, it'd be a shame if this match was to end in a double count up, but Joe smartly recognizing his surroundings and putting Hangman Adam Page back in the ring, the only place he can win the title. And we may be about to see him win the title if he can lock in this Kokita clutch, it is patented Samoa Joe. It has been for a very long time, but it was countered by Hangman Adam Page. Hangman and Page, oh my god, just slammed Joe down and busted him wide open. Slammed him onto his knee and busted him wide open. Now going for the dead eye, but no, it's another counter by Samoa Joe. Wisely done right there to get out of it. And there's the Wu Chop, and it caught him flush. And now here we go, Yuranagi. We saw that at All Out. We saw the Yuranagi at All Out when Samoa Joe shocked the world to debut in Chicago, but no, it's a kick out by Hangman and Page at two and a half. Now Hangman and Page, oh no, it's countered by Samoa Joe. Oh, Joe was going for something big, but counter. Again, big counter by Hangman Adam Page. The double stop straight to the abdomen. Picking up the huge frame of Samoa Joe. Oh, he's going for the dead eye again. But it was counted once again by Samoa Joe. And now Joe has Hangman in exactly where he wants him. Going to suplex him into the corner. It is getting down to the nitty gritty in what is becoming a war and a classic. As there's a T-bone. Oh, there's a nice counter again by Samoa Joe with the jawbreaker. Another counter by Hangman Adam Page. And now Hangman Adam Page has Samoa Joe quite literally on the ropes here. And he's going to go to work. Look at the blood on Hangman and Page's hand and on Samoa Joe's face. There is a crimson mask on both men right now. Of course, one crimson mask is on the hand of Hangman and Page and the other is on Samoa Joe's face. Now he's going to go for the dead eye. The dead eye. He got it. The dead eye can X flush on Joe. He got the dead eye. Can Hangman get into the cover? He can. He goes. One, two, no. Another kick out by Samoa Joe. Oh my God. God. What the hell does Hangman Adam Page have to do now? Both these men have thrown everything at one another uh, except the kitchen sink. What do they need to do now? And now Hangman, oh no, he's going for another dead eye right there, but it was kind of by Joe, a big close eye, taking down the champion. And now Samoa Joe picking up Hangman Adam Page, and oh, he's going for another Yuranagi right there, but it was counted once again by Hangman Adam Page. Oh my goodness me, dead eye. The dead eye straight into the cover, and surely now Hangman has just retained the title. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, 
me, two dead eyes, and everything else, and Joe is still crawling, still breathing. Oh man, Adam Page is going to have to bring out the RPG, bring out a gun, and put this man to rest, because I don't think anything else is going to work. And now Samoa Joe, oh no, it's kind of by Hangman Adam Page, floats over Samoa Joe, and now Hangman Adam Page, what are you about to see here? Oh, hang on a second, going into the crucifix pin on Samoa Joe, oh real ones is done for the count, and Joe, oh my god, Hangman Adam Page is just beating Joe, Hangman Adam Page has just about survived. Oh my goodness me, what a war that was, but in the end, Hangman Adam Page retains the TNT Championship, he just about escapes and survives the Samoan submission machine, but my god was that close, and Hangman Adam Page knows deep down that he just about escaped with his life. Well, you know the expression, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, the point is, Hangman Adam Page has secured the three count, and he retains the championship, but my god, Samoa Joe is not going to go down without a fight, not after that crucifix But at least for tonight here on AEW Dynamite, Hangman Adam Page's message to the rest of the division is catch me if you can, if you want some, come and get some.